responsibility comes in many different ways. So by me being able to be a single parent and could be able to get a home, not a house, a home for my children was a blessing for me. A lot of change, um, being a, a renter and being a homeowner. And it's now it's, it's mine and it's like I could say, you know, okay, this is my house. I gotta, you know, do things in my house and um, and watch over of the house now. I'm the responsible of the house now. That's the difference of being a renter and being a owner. You're gonna have to work and do your part and show them that you understand God's love shining on you. God can't take his love and give it to you and you just set it in your pocket and don't do anything with it. You got to show them that you are accepting this because that's what Habitat is about, God's love in action. I will never forget the slow go. I have a four bedroom because I have four children and three have a very rare disease called Moya Moya. So the house also has a couple of special commodities made for the children, the handicap ramp, mm -hmm. to meet our needs. And I'm very grateful. It was like a blessing had fallen in place in my life that I could never thank Habitat for. Security, that, that relief, knowing that this is mine and nobody can come in and say, I'm sorry, I changed my mind, but we want to sell our home or we want to move back in it. I don't have that option anymore. It's, I don't have to worry about someone knocking on the door and saying, you know, we're sorry, but you need to move. I work as a secretary in a public school. Um, I take every opportunity to advocate for Habitat. As a matter of fact, one of the ladies that I did talk to recently and got her home because I did talk to her. We found my mother-in-law, originally Julia, kept telling us for probably two years to apply and we just didn't want to. We just didn't think we could get it or it was how we could afford it and we put it off. And then Gwen Almador, the secretary at Macquarie, um, when we moved from our house on Mountain Road to Mount Cross, we had to bring in a proof saying that we were still in the district and we were, we only moved less than a mile closer to the school. Um, and so she saw how much we paid in rent and she says, you realize for this, you could make a house payment like with Habitat. And I said, no, it's, she goes, I've been in my house for 20 years, you know, please go apply. And so we did. And that's how we got started because of a secretary at school. We love our home. I can't even ex express to you how much we love our home. Good. What it surprised me is how many people is involved. We Habitat cannot do by themselves. We need outside people, like an individual, like a church members, like everyone has to be work together to make a dream come true. Like I always, we cannot do nothing by ourselves. Before Habitat, I was by myself and my own. When I found about Habitat, I got a support. I feel like I, I got a family. Well, I was volunteered by my wife's Sunday school class. And I, that's been over nine years, and the best thing that has ever happened to me. It's nice just to think about it. Someday, someday another family will, maybe my family will grow up in that house where I had fond memories and I know they'll be happy. And it's a very different experience in, you know, coming out of a rental into owning your own property. You, um, you, you, you cherish it more because it is yours. I would recommend Habitat to a lot of families, which I do. Um, me and my husband, we talk a lot if we run into someone about, you know, the experience that we've had in owning a brand spanking newly built home, um, affordable home too. Habitat has changed my life because 
I don't look at interning the same. I don't look at, you know, actually being out here helping people the same. It's not just about building a house. It's about building a community. You guys had come to the house and told me that I did qualify for the house and I did get the house and we were so elated. I'll never forget my children after you guys left, they jumped and they screamed and we hugged each other and we cried because we were actually, something good was finally gonna happen for us. It was not given to me. The hard work um, from volunteers, myself and my family, we had to work for our house and we worked very hard and we were happy to do it. And we were happy to help others that were gonna get their homes as well. I would say to the family that they're involved on the habitat, they're like new coming in, it's like I told them, you go to work, help people build the house, but the time goes so fast because the people that are working there, it's not people, it's family. I don't really know anything about much of Habitat since I'm still young, mm -hmm. but after the experience that I've had with them, it's been pretty good so far. Good. Like, right now, I'm 14. When I asked Ronnie how old, like, what's the age restriction to actually able to help is, like, around 16, if I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And, like, the experience that I had was really fun, especially when it came to building um, our house, since I painted my room, uh, my sister's room, and a couple others. We get volunteers that come out that are high school age and sometimes even younger than that. Uh, there are certain things that they, that when they're uh, under a certain age, there are certain things that they cannot do, they're not allowed to do. But uh, there's always landscaping and things like that. And we get people, I'm, I'm 70 years old, I'm retired, there's people here a lot older than I am even and, and working. So you get the whole spectrum of uh, people.